Hi everybody and welcome into Blooming Woman. Thank you so much for stopping by if you're new here. And for all of my returning subscribers, welcome back into another video where I'm gonna be talking to you about the vulture, okay? What does it mean when you see a vulture? I'll be explaining the symbolic meaning behind vultures, the spiritual meaning behind vultures, and also how you can use your intuition to identify what the vulture is trying to tell you specifically for your specific situation or encounter with the vulture, okay? How you can interpret that for yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what the vulture has to teach us. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. The vulture spirit animal. The vulture animal is that strange looking bird. Sometimes the bird looks really strange, okay? It has this big body and a really small head and it doesn't have any feathers on its head either. Most of the time, if it has any feathers on its head, there's only one feather or two feathers sticking out. And this bird kind of looks a little bit um, sick sometimes. It looks like a dark, dark, dark thing to see, especially when you see this bird scavenging around on um, a dead roadkill and leftover um, pieces from other animals. It can look like it's some type of bad omen or some type of negative thing when you see the vulture as a spirit animal or animal totem. So when it comes to the vulture animal and when you see the vulture inside of your life, with any animal totem, there is a general meaning for what the animal signifies. There can be multiple meanings, there can just be one meaning, um, but this is one of those animals that does have multiple meanings. So it's really up to you to use your intuition and pick up on the signs to figure out which part of the meaning is significant or resonates with your experience and what you feel like the bird was trying to tell you or what that synchronicity and that experience was trying to teach you. Okay, so here are the general meanings for the vulture. First, let's start off with the symbiotic meanings. So symbiotically, I hope that is, I'm saying that word right, And but um, the symbolism behind the vulture is really something that goes around and scavengers on roadkill. It will pick up behind other people's mess, okay? Um, this is that bird that's going to see something like a dead carcass and it'll go up to it and it'll feed off of that. So instead of going and hunting a full out animal and eating that animal and catching a prey, what the vulture actually does is it goes ahead and it finishes and it cleans up the mess that's left um, basically on the side of the road. So when you're looking at the symbiotic meanings towards animals and um, spirit and spirit animals and things of that nature, you really want to look at the characteristics of the animal. And since the vulture goes around and it picks up after people's mess and picks up after um, things that are unfinished, this bird symbiotically means that you need to basically go ahead and finish projects, finish things and complete things that you've left undone. Finishing unfinished business, basically. So if you see this bird as an animal totem or you see this bird fly over you and you have a bunch of things inside of your life that you've either procrastinated on or that you need to clean up or that you need to tidy up in any sense, okay? This could be physically cleaning up your room, physically cleaning up your home, or it could actually mean cleaning up after a mess that you left, some type of drama, some type of thing. It's about taking that initiative and actually tidying up the mess that has been made, okay? Especially if it's a mess that you made, okay? The vulture can really come into somebody's life to tell them that it's time to finish whatever it is that you've been putting off on completing. So the vulture does represent completion. It represents you taking the initiative 
to finish things that have you've left behind, okay? Now, when it comes to spiritual meaning with the vulture, vultures definitely, definitely, definitely have everything to deal with your energy level being very expansive, okay? Because in my experience and what I've seen with the vulture, it is really a perfect way to describe the vulture is going to be the numerological number um, nine in numerology, okay? And nine is all about expansion. It's all about um, completion. It's all about being able to be a mentor, being able to gain wisdom and give wisdom. And that's what the vulture is all about. It's about wisdom, giving and gaining wisdom. It's about being a mentor. It's about um, being a leader. And it's also about having a large energy field that other people can pick up on. You may notice that the times that you see vultures are on those days where everyone's looking at you. Have you ever had one of those days where you just feel like wherever you go, you go to the grocery store, you go for a walk, you go for anything, you go for a drive, and it just seemed like everyone is just looking at you. Um, before you started looking at them, you catch them looking at you or staring at you, even the dogs, the animals, everybody. It's on days like that when your energy is very large, your energy field is very large and people can feel you before they see you. Even if it's unintentional and they don't mean to feel your energy or they're not um, trying to feel your energy, it's just natural. We can feel other people's energy. So you'll notice the times when you're seeing a lot of vultures inside of your life. It's a time when you are capable of stepping into a leadership, mentor, or some type of influential um, um, place or um, 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 moment inside of your life, taking upon those types of things that will put you into a mentor um, position or into a position where you're a leadership position or a position where you are actually guiding or, or teaching or um, influencing others and basically leading the way. This animal, the vulture, completely comes around when your energy field is large and when other people can feel your energy and are influenced by you at a high level, okay? Even when you think about Kemet, ancient Kemet in ancient Egypt, when you think about that, you can think about Isis. And Isis actually has a vulture on her head, on her, um, on her crown, and the vulture even in ancient Egypt also represents um, wisdom as well and gaining wisdom, okay? It's all about wisdom. So overall, spiritually, the vulture really does come down to that number nine. I've seen this and, I, and I've experienced this for myself that it definitely comes down to the number nine, feeling like you have that ability to complete things. You have that ability to um, lead influence and to mentor other people it might catch you off guard it might be out of your plans it might not be something you saw yourself as but overall when you do see this animal it could be telling you that this is the type of characteristics that you need to take whenever you see an animal totem or animal that you feel like is trying to give you a message it's either telling you to take upon the characteristics of that animal in order to be successful or in order to stay on the path that you're supposed to stay on in this life or in order for you to make the right decisions or whatever it is that you're experiencing inside of your personal experience in life take on those characteristics of the animal that is guiding you okay that could be one thing or it could be telling you that you are about to do it whether you like it or not so it could be guiding you to take upon those characteristics, or it could be telling you that you are in an experience where you're already doing those things and basically congratulating you or being attracted to your energy because it's, it's attracted to your energy because that is the energy that you're putting up out is similar to one of a vulture, okay? And the vulture's energy is very, very expansive, okay? 
very expansive and that's why it's known that the vulture much like the crow can actually go in between realms it can go from the astral realm to the physical realm um, and it can see things and feel things and expand its energy far um, beyond the spectrum of like our physical plane okay so overall the um, vulture animal is going to be one that is going to be telling you to finish up your dirty work clean up the mess just like you see the vultures going around and eating dead carcasses off of the ground it's about finishing unfinished business it's about taking initiative it does carry a lot of masculine energy in a way okay it carries masculine energy as far as taking initiative and being a mentor and sharing a lot of wisdom okay in a leadership sense okay and it can be telling you to not procrastinate on the projects that you've left behind or on the projects that you um, have abandoned you could benefit a lot from picking up on those things that you gave up on that really deep inside of you you really want to achieve the vulture could definitely be coming into your life for that reason or it could be coming into your life to tell you that your energy is not that your energy is just a high frequency but your energy field is very large you're capable to magnetically attract people to you that will follow your lead something about your energy is field is very 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 large when you walk into like a room you will notice that everyone just kind of looked like they knew that you're coming there and not because they they thought that you were talking about them or you thought they were talking about you no i mean like people can actually sense feel hear just feel your energy coming before you actually show yourself to them so imagine you walking and looking at somebody and you're walking down a hill but that person's not looking at you and all of a sudden they just kind of feel your energy and then they look exactly where you are. That's what I'm talking about. You have that nine um, number, numerological number of nine. Really, really, really those characteristics really coming through in a very positive way, okay? It's also about being able to really take initiative and lead the way for others okay it's about others really being so magnetically attracted to your energy just like magic okay whether they like it or not like just like magic whether you're doing it intentionally or unintentionally they're going to be very attracted to your energy the times that you see um the vulture definitely make sure that you invest your time into finishing projects definitely make sure that you invest your time into um, taking upon leader, a leadership role or doing something that expresses those characteristics that day or during that time frame that you see the vulture try to implement those things inside of your life and you will get good fortune or good luck or you'll benefit from that okay spiritually mentally emotionally and just on the path that you're on okay because the vulture came into your life to basically guide you on what is going on so on that note i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about how you can actually interpret what the vulture is specifically telling you because like most spirit animals and animal totems sometimes you'll come across videos and you'll be like why does this thing say five different things or even you might experience it for yourself and learn what that animal is telling you but you notice that one animal could have a lot of meanings in your life and that is true, just like the vulture right now has a bunch of meanings, but it's up to you to actually understand how to interpret which aspect or which meaning is significant to you. And some of the main things you can do is to pay attention to everything. Pay attention to everything that's occurring inside of your matrix system. The moment that you see the vulture, and the moment that you see any synchronicity that you're trying to understand and tap into with your intuition, pay attention to everything that's occurring inside of your matrix system. So pay attention to your thoughts. What types of thoughts were you having the moments that you saw the vulture? 
Were you thinking about a project that you needed to finish and then you saw the vulture come around to tell you that it's time to complete it? Were you um, thinking about stepping outside of the box and trying something new that was in relation to being a leader or mentoring or did you see the vulture right after you helped somebody by giving them knowledge or teaching them something really quick even if it's the littlest thing in the grocery store and you taught them how to go about something the right way or how to find owl three i don't know it could be anything but what is it that you're like thinking about the, and then you saw the vultures that is going to help you another thing is what was it that you were actually experiencing the moment that you saw the vulture? Like I gave the example of the grocery store, that's gonna actually be an experience. What were you experiencing the moments that you saw the vulture? That's going to help you understand and interpretate what the vulture is actually trying to tell you inside of your life and what it's trying to guide you and help assist you with inside of your life, okay? What are you thinking about what is the experiences occurring inside of your matrix system? And also, what is it that you're actually feeling the moments that you see the vulture? Are you feeling like you have a lot of power? Because it is really about your inner strength and it's about power. It's about your ability to really um, um, have a magnetical, powerful field around you. Okay, um, were you feeling like you were procrastinating? Were you feeling like you were sad? Were you feeling mad? Were you feeling angry? Were you feeling frustrated? These are the things to pay attention to, to interpretate what the, um, what the vulture is trying to tell you needs to happen in order for you to actually achieve overcoming some dark emotions or dark dark event inside of your life or what have you okay you can even go ahead and pay attention to the numbers that you saw the moment that you saw the vulture as well and take in account to all the information that's occurring the moment that you see the vulture okay because everything inside of our intuition when we see when we have a synchronicity occur inside of our life it really is just verification of our intuition. It's just really um, our intuition and any any ans any any questions that we seek, any guidance that we seek started to occur inside of our matrix system to really verify what we are already seeking inside of our own sense of intuition, okay, and our own sense of knowing. So that's basically going to be it. I really hope that you guys were able to relate to this. I hope that this could make a lot of sense. I hope that I got everything that I meant to get since I didn't really look down that much. Um, but yeah, I really hope that this could relate with you. I hope that you guys were able to understand it. Once again, um, make sure that you're paying attention to all the synchronicities that are occurring and you'll be able to really understand what this bird is trying to tell you and it's really all positive it means that you're very 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 powerful magnetic and your energy is vast okay and it can touch a lot of people so now's the time to step into your power and basically take advantage of that ability that you have so if you're liking this video right now don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe um, so you can see all of my videos whenever I make a video. Also hit the bell notification and tap on all notifications so you can get updated every time I see a video. Otherwise, YouTube's actually not gonna let you know that I made a video. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. My information is down below inside the description box if you wanna know anything more about my other um, social media um, accounts and things of that nature and i will see you all inside of the next video much love to you and bye bye